Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durbin with your family of Faith Victory Church right here in the capital city of Frankfort, Kentucky. And just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's Word once again. Luke one thirty seven says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. So glad to have you with us on this terrific Thursday. And in the studio with me, I have Eric Lemon, a.k.a. J. Air. And uh, he is going to be with us this Friday night. We're having a rock stage concert, and I'll be telling you more about that. Welcome to the studio, uh, Eric. Good to have you. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Thank All right. Well, uh, this Friday night, uh, you're going to join us, uh, the RVN band, and we're going to put on a RVN band slash J Air concert. Uh -huh. And we've done this before, and it's always been a good time. You know, uh, those of you that are listening, if you don't have any plans this Friday night, at 7 o'clock here at our church, ar around back, we built a stage, rock stage. Got a a, a great sound system, got phenomenal uh, musicians, and just uh, Christian, uh, watch out now, rock and roll, and rapping, and even slowing down to some country uh, music, but it's all based on the Word of God. We're not straddling our fence here, and uh, if you like music and fellowship, uh, just come. We welcome you. There's going to be free food for all. There's going to be uh, prizes, uh, prize drawings for the one that has the right name in the hat at the drawing. And, and uh, we just have a good time in these concerts. And, and God, however the, God wants to move in these concerts, uh, we let him move. And uh, we're just excited. This is uh, Memorial Day uh, weekend, our kickoff. We generally do one a month while the weather's good here. And uh, it is just a fabulous time. So if you don't have any plans, come on out. It's this Friday, the 24th. And uh, we would like to meet you. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Bring your, bring your kids or your youth group or whatever. Uh, Eric, uh, Christian music, you you come from the big city, Cincinnati, mm -hmm. and before you were born again, you were rapping out on the streets, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So uh, tell us how how you were raised and, and then how uh, you took that really gift uh, and brought it over into uh, the body of Christ. Yeah, well, I was... I grew up in um in my mom's house. She was a single mom for a portion of my childhood, and she got remarried. But um, she was very musically uh, diverse in mm. her taste. So I heard all kinds of different styles and genres of music. Uh, my sister got into the performing arts school, so she did orchestra stuff. Oh wow! Uh, we heard, we went to um, choir competitions mm -hmm. she really got, had us into the arts and stuff so i i was around music quite a bit as a kid growing up and yeah me and my brother especially once we got over into our teenage years well even when we were younger we used to tinker around on the keyboard and stuff and make up our own little songs and stuff uh, but when we got over into our teenage years um we started doing a, a rap group Mm. during that time now my whole childhood i wasn't i didn't get born again until i was in college um and give my life to jesus but um so it wasn't like i had this rebellious stage and got over into rapping you know we were just you know I was, part of the I, was, culture. Yeah, I was unsaved the whole time and, yeah you know but yeah i did get over we got over into doing the rap music and it was definitely uh something that was used to um pull us darker and mm -hmm. deeper into, into stuff because music is the soundtrack. I mean, every God knew we all like music. Mm -hmm. um, just imagine a day of your life with no music. Right. You know, we listen to music when we travel in our cars, mm -hmm. we watch TV, every commercial's got a song or something mm -hmm. in it. 
um, even you know movies and TV shows they got back background music and sure. stuff going on. Like life would be so different if music didn't exist. Mm-hmm. And so the enemy has just tried to use that, you know, to pervert. But uh, when I got saved, you know, I was one. That was one of the things that was a major part of my life uh, before I got saved was doing that music for the for the enemy. You know, just rapping about the goofiest stuff. You know, um, seeing and in, uh, in every lyric. You know, mm-hmm. and so I just threw that to the side. Mm-hmm. Um, but the Lord, uh, a couple of years after I got born again, just quickened that that thing in me. I mean, that it was something that He placed in me. Music in itself is not bad. Right. It was how it was being used and how what was coming out that was bad. Yeah. When I got uh, born again, radically, uh, I had a rock and roll uh, band, Heathen, and we were going to make our big break, you know, and, and we were working hard at it. And when I got born again, I thought that music was gone. Uh-huh. I thought, OK, that's it. And for a season, it needed to be. Yeah. Because I needed to grow in the things of God and understand the power of music and what it was actually for. You know, uh, a lot of the body of Christ don't understand uh, the three different uh, forms of music. Uh-huh. You got up to music. That, that's what we're praising God and honoring and worshiping the Lord. And then... There's onto music. That's where we're encouraging and uplifting uh, uh, people in the Lord. Then there's into music where we're making a melody in our heart, just encouraging ourselves. And when you don't understand the difference, then any kind of onto music is viewed by up to music only believers that is somehow wrong. When the Bible lets us know to admonish one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, right? right? Mm -hmm. So when when you got saved, how long after before you you recognize? Wait a minute, that was a gift. I I was just perverting it. I would say maybe a year and a half, two years. Um, It was a New Year's Eve thing that we had here, and we would have our uh, talent, anointed talent. nights and so it was an opportunity for people who had giftings and stuff to uh you know share those that made showcase money. yeah and so uh um, the lord just placed it on my heart to do a rap one year you know and i knew the lord had put it on my heart to do it and so i when and, you know i struggled with that part but when i did it it was like uh it was an eye-opener for me mm-hmm. like you know like the dam broke yeah because part of it was i you know i i used to do freestyling and stuff that's when you just rap you know whatever's on your comes to your head you know when i was a heathen and i was afraid honestly that i was gonna say something that wasn't right or you know whatever when i was rapping and um you know some mind renewal and stuff that mm-hmm. i had to go through but um i saw the the, the power because there's power in words you yes know? um you and i both experienced that you know anointed songwriter psalmist uh, an anointed word-based song could hit you just as powerful as an anointed sermon. That's exactly right. You know, I remember uh, one time you showed me a song with Yolanda Adams. You know, I don't know what mm-hmm. the situation was that mm-hmm. you were, and the Lord was ministering to you, but she was singing something about Abraham believing God, you know, or something. Mm-hmm. It ministered to you that day, just Big like time. if you would have heard a message, you know, mm-hmm. because the word is powerful, whether it's being sung or it's being preached that is it, the word has power in it. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. And we're and 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 uh, you know you you uh, have a lot of music now that uh, you have recorded. Uh, people that are listening can go to uh, your website. Mm-hmm. What what is it? J dash h e i r j air dot com dot com. And that's where you can find me on any streaming platform at J dash air. Search J air. And there's like I said, a bunch of songs on there, a bunch of music on there. I remember when uh, you, you know you the drummer for us in the RBN band, and one of the guys said to me, uh, "You need to hear Pastor Eric. Uh, he's got a rap song." I said, "I thought to myself, I don't want to hear that, but because you know uh, you're a part of our church, and so I, I'm going to be nice." 
And I tell you, I hated rap. And when I heard, I'm talking the very first time you rap, it just changed me. I said, okay, okay. Because what was going out, out of your mouth was the word of God. And I was hearing uh, the word come forth. And I'm like, all right, I see it. I hear it. And I was converted that night. Matter of fact, uh, I rely on you a lot of times, uh, you know, uh, to do a route, you know, in a meeting or whatever, because of the anointing that's on your life. Uh, this uh, Friday night, you're going to be doing uh, uh, several uh, of your songs in between RVN uh, sets. and. Uh, if you're out there and you like rap music, I, I just encourage you go to his uh, website. Can can they uh, get a taste of what what you have there? You got any music on there? Or mm -hmm. If they go to your website, yeah. okay, or it's on YouTube or wherever you know you can search all over the place and find something. You can check check it out. Yeah, J dash H E I R H E I R dot com or just J dash Air on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, this Friday night, I tell you what, it is a great time in the Lord. And uh, if you're interested in coming, make make plans. Uh, it starts at seven o'clock. Again, free food and and uh, prize drawings that night. And uh, you're going to hear good, anointed Christian music. You're not going to sit there and think, oh, my goodness, uh, this is not what I thought uh, Christianity was about. No, you're going to hear uh, word-based songs. Uh, yes, a lot of them are uh, rock and roll uh, beats and so on and so forth and rap beats and, and then uh, country beats, whatever, whatever it may be. And I guarantee you, uh, if you don't like a certain kind of style, you stick around, you'll hear something that you do like. And I've never seen anybody come to one of these concerts that left disappointed. Mm -hmm. They always come up to me and say, my goodness, uh, you know, I didn't I didn't know it, it was great. When are you going to do another one? Of them? In the atmosphere, just fun fellowship, you know, great yeah. atmosphere on top of that. Liberty, freedom. Mm hmm. So that's this Friday night, 7 o'clock. We're going to kick off Memorial uh, Day weekend. Uh, and I would just encourage you, uh, just grab a friend, uh, grab a lawn chair, uh, a blanket, whatever, and uh, come on out. Again, it's around behind our church. So you might have to go around the block uh, to park, but you'll see the big yellow tent. You'll see it set up, and probably uh, the music will already be playing. Uh, the preliminary and just come on in there and we're looking forward to seeing you then. Well, our time's gotten away from us, Eric, on this uh, terrific Thursday and just want to remind the people that Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 says, where the word of a king is, there is power. You be a blessing. So we just roll it.